do 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 Okay, so hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Um, just let me know you can hear me okay, that would be cool. And we shall get on. Right, okay, so what we're going to do, we're, take, we're taking a look at Synthmaster 2. And we're going to be taking a, a, a look at the uh, multi-segment envelope generator. And also the key scaler, because they haven't been covered uh, that much by me so far. So... Yeah, so this is not going to be the most exciting video, I don't suppose. Uh, but you might learn some cool tricks that you can do with these two these two um, parts of Synthmaster 2. So we're going to set up a kind of a basic sound. I'm going to go to ADSR and I'm going to set up a couple of things that I like. <coughs> so we're, we're on a basic, just a square wave. I'm going to take the release time up on a normal ADSR, which is ADSR1, which is automatically linked to the volume for us, the velocity. So, so we're going to do this, and then we're going to make a little bit of, uh, we're going to add a couple of voices in here, so, so that's going to make it a little bit louder, so we can turn it down. So we stack three voices. And then we're going to go into voices. This isn't anything to do with what we're doing. I just want to make a half decent sound. And we're going to use detuned spread. And pan spread. So if you're wearing headphones, that's going to sound. Really nice already. So that we'll use that as a starting sound. So we've got one oscillator, one layer. Don't need to worry about anything else. And that's already quite a nice sound for us to be listening to. So now we're going to switch on filter one. Now filter one will be done for oscillator one. If we look at our routing here, oscillator one and oscillator two are going to go into filter one, then into filter two. I kind of prefer it to be in parallel or split even. So oscillator one is going to go into filter one and oscillator two will go into filter two. But well, since we're only using oscillator one at the moment, we can switch oscillator two off, as you can see. You can do that here via the routing, see this? Okay, so if we turn filter one on now, you'll see that we've darkened the tone of that by taking out some of the top end because where the frequency is already set. And we're gonna take that right back for now. <clears throat> okay so that's our adsr and our basic sound setup without any effects and stuff which is absolutely fine okay now we're going to go to this mseg which is multi-segment envelope generator and the first thing we're going to do is take a look at that okay so the multi-seg envelope generators there are four of them if you hold this here you will see that you have four of them to play with we're just going to use the one or the i mean because we could spend hours setting up the envelopes on this so you have four adsrs as well but we're going to be looking at the multi-segments and the nice thing is with the multi-segments so first of all i'm going to press sync and then i'm going to open it up see this little plus icon here we can see what's going on with our multi-segment envelope. Now you'll see here, it says loop count infinite, loop start three, loop end, sorry, loop end three and envelope stages three. Okay, well, we're gonna increase that for a start off. We're gonna have, we'll have eight envelope stages and you'll see what's happened there. It's gone as far as the one, two, three, and we've got four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, it's actually eight. And then we're gonna set the loop count to say three. And when it says loop start, there, we're gonna have this start at loop one. And so you can set loops up as the envelope goes. Now, 
we need to give it something to do we can't we can set up the loops as we like but the we need to give it right it's like anything like it's like an lfo we need to well what are we doing with this we're not doing anything with it at the moment so we're going to put this on the frequency because it's easiest to hear it on something like this but you can assign it to anything okay so what we're going to do is we're going to hold on here you see this little diamond and we're going to pick it up like this and you see anything that highlights you can put it on and we're going to drop it onto there which is this and now it follows exactly the uh, uh, multi-seg for the filter. So if we open up again with this, and you'll see it says loop start and loop end four. Well, let's go loop start three. Okay, now this will loop three times and then carry on. Okay, so should we do that again from scratch? So we just should we just say, okay, look, let's go hold this like this. Tap it, sorry, and go remove modulation. We're going to remove the multi-segment modulation from there. We're going to tap on this. And we're going to go restore to default. <clears throat> so you can see exactly what I did again. Because this is really, really cool. This is cool stuff. <coughs> but this time we'll do it the other way around. We'll assign it to where we want it to be now. Okay, so let's immediately just assign it to our frequency modulate off our, our, our frequency cutoff. So we just there's a couple of ways we can assign modulation destinations and sources. We can either hold it here like this and pick it up and move it around and drop it on to anything that highlights. That's including the effects and stuff. Or you can tap on the destination that you want, okay? And we, oh, well, it, well, I'll, you'll be all right here, Stephen. I'm going to go through it again slowly, like so. Right. So you can also have snap on, which is you can snap this to like different things. But we'll leave it off for now. We're going to tap on this, and we're going to go add modulation. So tap on the destination you would like the multi-segment envelope to control. Tap on this, go add modulation, and it'll give you all your modulation sources, and there are lots of them. So we're going to go with like, okay, well, uh, I I want it to be a um, an envelope here, and I want it to be multi-segment envelope number one, and now we've assigned it right, but you can see it working. But it's not doing anything really interesting. Okay, we need to go in and have a look what's going on. So, so loop count is infinite. Okay, so fine. We'll leave that at loop start at three. Yeah, we'll leave that there. Loop end at now. Loop end at number five. Uh, but we've only got three envelope stages, so that's not going to make any sense. So we're going to go, we're going to add eight again. And now... Let's add a point in here. And let's add, oops, a point in there. So let's have a loop count on at two. Right, that's looking okay. So let's go back to here now and let's put sync on. And what's gonna happen now is it's gonna track along. So sync is important. It's gonna track along with the envelope now. So, sorry, let's have a look in detail. Till we release. But if we have our loop end now set at five, you'll see we have a loop set up now. So it will follow this and it'll loop back. And it'll do it twice. 
Okay, so well, let's okay. Well, let's make this a little bit more. Let's add a point here and let's drag this. That's these are velocity curves. So let's add another point here. Let's pull this up and let's have our loop count to be something like four. And let's have the loop end to be five. And let's have our loop start to be 0.2. So you can see you can see them changing. And we can okay, well let's add let's add um let's do some cool stuff with our oops mod points now. So you have you have exponential, linear, and logarithmic <coughs> as well. You can just do by dragging. So it, let's take our loop off. We don't want loop on at all. So it'll just now track along. And we can make this more pronounced, of course, if we... Now, we can also have it bipolar. And let's go in here and look at this. So we could take this up a little bit here. This one... The, let's add a point. Oops, no, let's add a point and add a point. So we're getting some kind of, let's add a point then. So, you, I mean, you can add like points all over the blinking place, you know. And of course it's, polypho it's polyphonic. <laughs> And you can, you know, if you have the loops end set at something like three, so you loop start on two, loop start on three, and but then set it to kind of just repeat a couple of times. See, it's very cool, it's very cool indeed. So let's go with, say, maybe a snap value now. And this means that we can move our points and curves and they will snap to grid, sort of thing. Depending on what our, you know, our resolutions are. Now, what you also have is, what you also have is uh, envelope lag. Now, envelope lag is very nice because it smooths out all this stuff. So, for instance, if we go like this and use our envelope lag, if I play a note here. see it better on here so. see it's smoother now now this is this is nice it's this is at the moment is on the filter However, we can assign the same envelope we've just set up or a completely new one to say something else. We can assign this multi, well, let's do another one. Let's let's open up this, let's go multi. Now we can see multi-segment one has one target. We know what that target is, is the frequency. Let's select the multi-segment envelope number two. And let's let's play with a control and see what happens. So, so. That sounds nice, the detune spread. So let's assign MS, MSEG to the multi-segment uh, multi envelope 
to the D tune. Let's switch sync on. See what's happening now. Now we've got tons of mo movement. And we can go in, of course, and we can go, oh, okay, well, we've got an infinite loop count. It's just going to go round and round and round, but, but it's it's going between points three. Let's set our start point this time to start point one, the beginning. Let's switch looping off, which is fine. We don't need it on. Let's have a loop set. Loop point doesn't really matter now because we're not going to use it. Let's We can have 16 here now and this is where we can kind of just go bonkers we can go right oh well, okay let's do this let's go let's have this go all over the place for us and do all sorts of cool stuff as the envelope is tracking through and we can change our curves we can you know so if we play this now now this is ms2 this is multi-segment envelope 2 and this is controlling the detune <laughs> getting constant constantly smoothly evolving textures and again we can smooth that out as well so we're not worrying about it too much and of course this <laughs> this begins to get really really cool when you do things like this right you can go to your effects section now and let's hold this on let's switch on our reverb right here we have our reverb Big amount of time on the reverb. Let's hold this. Let's do this. Let's hold this and go to multi-segment envelope number three. And let's go in. And let's keep this one. Let's keep this one pretty straightforward, shall we? Let's go and make some adjustments on bigger, bigger time scale. So let's add a point here, like this. And let's take these points down. So the more or less, it's going to be a lit kind of a. We can remove points, you know, remove it. We can fix this curve. We can move this along. So now we've got over the course of 30 seconds. So let's make it over the course of more time. We can move this along like this. And let's assign this to open our filter, shall we? So it's going to basically go from zero to zero, but it's going to open it up full on our reverb, sorry. So I'm going to close this again. I'm going to take our thing here and I'm going to stick it on time because you'll really hear it on time. And we'll start this here so that it really opens up when it gets to here. So now, now I'm going to set this to sync. Uh, right now, I need to make some adjustments to my looping as well, of course. I'm going to turn looping off. I'm going to have the point set to something like three. Is it three? Were they done? Three. Yeah, so. See, now hear that. Now the reverb is now open, opening up. Like... Um, and then and then closing back down again you can actually see it happening here Awesome. And that's how you use your <clears throat> that's how you use your multi-segment envelopes. You like like and like I said, although we've got number three going to time, we could actually also we could assign number three to to our thing as well. Like that. Cool beans.
lovely. I think it's lovely. Anyway, these are quite extreme examples, of course, but generating subtle movement is, is super easy with the multi-segment envelopes. And like I said, you have four of them. Um, so you can you can get pretty creative. You, actually, it's realistic if you're in two layers, you've got eight of them. Brilliant, brilliant. Right, okay. So let's do the key scaler. Key scaler again. Let's do initial preset. Again, let's set up something that's quite nice. Maybe this time we'll go with a pulse wave. And to hear a pulse wave, of course, we have to use our phase spread. Uh, our, um, our what's it, sorry. Um, oh, that's weird. We sh what am I doing wrong here? Oh. That should, um, oh, wait a minute, sorry, sorry, gang. I was in voices. So you have some nice things, right? This is a bit harsh. But again, I'm going to make this a nice, a nicer sound than that. Again, I'm going to go start with just our ordinary ADSR. I'm going to choose, um, I think... Our OB, our OB um, algorithm. Again, I'm going to switch on the filter. I'm going to change the filter to virtual analog. Going to make sure our volume is turned down a little bit. And I'm going to use an LFO to slowly modulate the phase, just for fun. So go to our LFO. I'm going to hit the, put this on phase. I'm going to slow it down. Okay, so now on to our multi, uh, <clears throat> our key scalers. Key scalers are, these are, this is epic. <clears throat> this will let you modulate pretty much anything per key. So as I'm playing, you'll notice that this is tracking up. As I go down to say C1. You'll see me tracking up. This means that we can select any note. We can add a point here. I'll go with uh, remove the point. Or we can go to add a point. And I'll add a point. I'll add various points here and there. Okay. And we'll add, add a point here. And we can then move these points around just like we did with the actual. Uh, let's add another one there. Let's add one here. So this is basically adding points at octaves at the moment, but we can we can get finer than that, of course. We can add add a point here, which is we can let's just do this, move this over and add a point there. Let's add, I'll take this down. See, this is working the same way as your multi-segment envelope as well. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna add a bunch of points in here. Now I'm going to show you extreme examples of using this, but if you think about it, you can use this again in much more subtle, subtle ways than I'm going to show you. But you can see this kind of thing we've got going on now. It's kind of up and down, up and down. This. If I play the keyboard now, you won't hear anything, of course, because I need to assign this this envelope to something. see it moving right 
So now we we can assign this any way we like as well. We can assign it to effects. Uh, we can assign it to filters. Let's assign it to this filter. Let's let's. And again, it's the same thing, you know. To assign it, we just could just pick it up and wait till it's highlighted underneath, or we could just tap on this and go assign modulation, and we can go. Oh look, key scalers, key scaler number one. And we can tap on that now. This this filter is now assigned to this key scaler, and this is what happens, right? As I'm going up the keyboard, pair note. Her note is what is having an effect on actual, and we can, like I said, we can get fine, fine detail um, in, you know, we could add points here and here, and we could say also as well, let's go into our effects section here, let's long hold here and add some, maybe a delay, and this is, we haven't assigned anything to anything yet, so we're just, you know, But let's say maybe let's assign the key scaler to the effect mix. Oops, sorry. So on this key, we've got a We've got a mix now, a, a mix control of what the what the what the keys are affecting the delay. So, well, if we took that off, we remove the modulation from the clear modulations. I and I'll put the key scale on maybe on the feedback. Sorry, one. Oh, Not much with this middle C. But by the time we get up to this E up here. We're opening the... And this G is opening it all the way. So you get control... <coughs> You get control over how, how much delay or whatever it is you want and can control it with the key scaler. Now, this is an extreme example. Of course, to, for instance, if you put this onto pitch, it's going to go bonkers. So we can go, we can assign it to pitch as well. So. Or is it bonkers, really? Because it's kind of like Krell now. So if you want that kind of sci-fi vibe, that's really, really cool for doing that. Yeah, so I like that. That's really nice. But we can, like I said, let's let's do an initial. Um, oh, got a crash. I don't know what's going on here now. Let's try it with maybe a wave table. Um. Oh, I... 
Rexland since it's been massively deep synth. Okay, and this time let's switch off oscillator one. Let's go to oscillator two and go to a um, this one here. I'm going to go to samples. I'm going to import some samples. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, so I could suppose I could import wave file. I'm going to import a wave file. Um, I'm going to go with a let's see. So I know, right, I'm going to go with one of these, which is um, texture five is pretty cool. So I'm going to import this. So I'm going to use it in, I'm just going to import it into my user folder. That's fine. Right, so I've just been imported this, it is sample. Switch back on oscillator one. And let's, on oscillator one, let's also import, let's go off basic, let's go to, let's import another user sample, uh, import weight files, and I'll import texture one, and I'll just import that. So this is that one, and blend it with oscillator two. So we've got this nice, rich, deep kind of. Let's use our ADSR to drag this out. Let's switch our envelope on. Let's assign this to, let's assign an ordinary LFO to this envelope, uh, to the frequency, uh, the cutoff frequency. Slow it down. Let's go to, I'm, we're, we're finished in a sec guys, by the way, I've showed you the, how to do the key scaling and the multi, multi, multi segment segment thing that's all i wanted to show you is really just those two little things because they're really handy but if we go to our multi-segment now i'm going to switch this onto sync i'm going to assign this to Sign it to this. Nice. So now we've created a really nice, and let's use our key scaler, shall we? And what can we do? The thing is now is is the cool thing is is having a mess round with what sounds good. Uh, with the key scaler, so that might be nice. So we'll assign the key scaler to the drive. Let's turn our volume down. And let's go and make a few kind of, let's add some points in, add points and points. And we can start to kind of mess around. See? Oh yes. It's 
see, it's cool. Brilliant! I think the multi-segment envelope generators and the scalar, the key scalers are, are, are awesome for a, applying all sorts of cool stuff as you play or just with one note. Guys, I'll give you a couple of minutes to say to that to each other. Thank you very, very much for joining me this evening where we did take a look at Synth Master 2 and uh, multi-segment envelope generators and key scalers. And how easy they are to set up really very interesting textures and things. Mm -hmm.